English understanding, your English comprehension. Okay, so everything. If you are going to enter the world of business, it is very important to be very strong in English. Not just spoken English, but also English comprehension. You are going to be tested in CAT on comprehension. Okay, which means you have to do a lot of reading of the English classics. Okay, you are you are able to get all those works for free now. Okay, on the internet, you are able to get all those works for free. So you should spend time. Uh, you should keep this as an important goal. That you have to improve your spoken, written English, and as well as your uh, English comprehension. Okay, because all of these things will affect your success in the in the future. Okay, so the most important thing, the first starting point, is you must have the belief. A lot of people. The reason this thing is called I am a bust is because I was told that many some of the students are of the view that if they don't get into the I Ams, then all life is over. Okay, it is life is not so easily over. Like even at my age, I entered and I did my LLB from Delhi University at the age of I entered in 2013. At that time, I was about 47. Okay, so then I finished my LLB in 2016, and then after one year gap, I finished my LLM also from IP University. Okay, so uh, and I got pretty good, decent results. Okay, so therefore, it, it, you never stop learning. You can always so even at this age, if I'm able to add add qualification, then I'm actually able to learn and add value to my uh, myself. Okay, so you can so you never stop learning. So the game is not so life is a marathon. Okay, it's not a hundred meter race. So first thing you have to bring is if you don't have a positive attitude, then nothing can be done. If you have already given up the game right at the beginning itself, then nothing can be done. So if you think like if Zimbabwe is playing Australia, should they play the match at all? Why bother? Because Australia is a much higher ranked team. So might as well give up. What do you think? Should they give up or should they play? <laughs> they should play, right? They should play and try to win. So therefore, don't worry about the ranking so much because it, it depends on how you perform on a consistent basis. Okay, so you should not. First thing is you should not give up hope. Okay, you should obviously try to get into the IMs. But even if you don't, for some reason, because on that day the performance may not be good, you may have some, you know, maybe not well, okay, did not sleep well, this, that. So, all the kinds of things can happen. So, don't let those small setbacks, if you keep on pushing all the time, eventually you are going to succeed. So, you must have that belief, okay. So, you should not give up. That's a very important point. So, I wanted to spend some time on that, okay. So, you do have a uh, lot of choices, okay, even if you don't get into the IMs. There are many other business schools and I'm just going to deal a little bit about uh, on, on many of the aspects that we want to discuss. You might want to note this down. Actually, you can't even see this. I want to make, I will change the color because this display is quite small. So, um, I have, what I've done is I have, have you guys, are you guys aware of uh, Bitlink, Bitly, you know Bitly, where you have all these internet links which you can shorten the links by using Bitly short link those url shortening you know the url is very big sometimes so that you can't use a shortcut url shortcuts you're aware of that okay so let me just put a some bright color here what should i put here somehow seem to have okay let me master sheet okay so i will just change the color here so what I have done is, I will just show you what I have done. Um, where is my font color? Here. A font color, I will make it, what should it be for this one? Yellow? Yeah, yellow is fine. Yellow we can read, okay. So what I have done, you can read this. Everybody can read this. Okay, so it is bit.ly. You can just note this down, okay. So I will be sharing a lot of information with you. But if you just note down this, what you do now is you just type this into the browser new tab into the address bar. I'll show you how it has to be done. Okay. But you just note down this bit.ly underscore make sure the cap it is cap sensitive, case sensitive. Okay. You just note this down. And so all the links that I share with you, all the links are going to be uh, in this sheet only. You don't have to note anything else. If you have this sheet, it's me, it's me, sub kuch. Jo link may share karunga, jo sub is, is link is sheet may spreadsheet may embedded over. Okay. So I'll just show you the what the sheet is like. Okay, this is the sheet that you will get. Okay, in this there are so many all these links which I will discuss with you. So there is no need for you to load down all these links. You just need to remember that shortcut. Okay, if you remember that shortcut, then it will open this spreadsheet. Okay, so what will you do? You will type this. Okay, if you take this, you will take this as an example. Then I will just type B. I don't know if you can see. I am just typing bit.ly 
okay that is our different uh, thing so here i have to write tcc is also logical tcc is for time coaching center okay gp is for gorakhpur then underscore this is october 2018 so it is 1018 so you will remember it also logically okay so if i type this into my new browser tab this sp spreadsheet will open what is happening here did i or oh, 10 i died i type 10 10 i should type 10 18 okay so this is what will open okay so i will discuss all these links with you but i first wanted to share that uh, bit link okay so now you know those of you did not know what is url shortening because if you look at the i'm trying to share this spreadsheet with you you're all familiar with google drive yes. everybody knows google drive okay it's very useful okay i do all my stuff on google drive so you can see the url for this is very long if i wanted to share this sheet with you the url is very long okay so instead of that what i do is i convert this into a short link that is the, that bitly.com as you see go to the website you can shorten the links okay so i have used that to shorten the link and i have created a logical name so you can remember it and then you can load this so we'll discuss all this one by one okay okay everybody is following so far koi problem nahi ho if you have any koi problem or if you don't understand anything please ask okay put up your hand and ask that's another very important thing in your learning okay i don't know if every school will encourage it whenever you wherever you go in business schools but it, in my class i always encourage students that if you don't understand you have to ask me because i can't figure out if you have not understood and if there are so many students then i can't individually look at everybody's face and uh, figure out whether they have understood or not so you have to tell me if you don't understand then i'll explain it again this is clear okay so another thing always remember this in india we had this problem i'll tell you the story from my llb st study because i was already one of the oldest students in my llb class so all these young people like your age because in india you know what the problem we have in like, culturally we have a problem that in, in india the you know maa baap ka izzat student ka brightness bachche ka brightness ke upar depend karta hai if your son is not bright that means maa baap ka izzat chala gaya you don't understand that logic no ki mera beta itna bright hai mera beti itna bright hai and if your student your son is not bright means gaya basically the whole family ka izzat chala gaya so this puts a lot of pressure on children it puts a lot of pressure on young children so that what happens is when they come to school and all nobody wants to ask a question if they don't understand they will rather keep quiet because see if you are asked if you are asking a question means you have not understood that means you are stupid okay this is how we think because our parents have taught us to be very smart we have to be always very smart so this to so understand this also because we all come from the same indian culture so we are all influenced by this culture so you have to understand that this will actually be uh, this will work against you in your life because if you don't ask and you don't if you don't understand and you don't ask fir kya hoga your your own knowledge is not going to increase so you are the one who will remain less knowledgeable so you are suffering actually because of your pr foolish pride you are actually suffering because your knowledge is not growing right so this is also something just like the english uh, spoken english part i wanted to speak to you about i wanted to speak about this also so that uh, we have this um, you have this idea that these are certain things behavioral aspects which you have to be very careful about one is the spoken english part the second is uh, don't put yourself in this trap when i was in llb what used to happen i used to ask a lot of questions so piche se the young people like you they don't want to ask a question but they don't understand what they would do is kagaj pe likh ke they will poke me with a pencil saying ask this question because he doesn't want to ask because if he asks that means he is stupid so it, he knows that i ask questions so he's giving me the question to ask so this is what was happening so you have to be aware that as indians all of us are we are also influenced by this culture so you should also watch yourself because by not asking the question you are the one who remains stupid okay so the english i uh, shouldn't say stupid but you remain uh, you don't increase your knowledge in the us universities this is one of the differences in western culture okay so we have to look at all the different cultures japanese culture western cultures and we should take what are the good things from the other cultures we should take them okay and we should then we should look at our culture also and we see certain things are good and certain things maybe are not so good so we should try to remove for ourselves when we develop ourselves we should try to take the best of all the cultures and make yourself a, a better person right so uh, if you look at the western culture then the us universities they will tell you that the only stupid question is the one that is not asked okay are you understood what I, what they are saying so that's why in the western countries they always ask questions okay so these things are very important so there is another factor that you have to remember so uh, anyway so i'll just get into this now what will happen is essentially just 
I don't know if you guys can still see all this stuff. There used to be a view slideshow option. I can't see that. Anymore. Maybe yeah. Okay, this is slightly better. I think hopefully this will be slightly better. Is it? You can read at the back. Okay. So what we are saying is so essentially on on this theme of that you should not give up just because you won't get into a top school. Okay. There are many things you can do. You get many shots. Okay. You get many shots on goal. To use a football analogy, you get many shots on goal. So just because you miss one penalty doesn't mean that the game is over. Okay. So you have to remember that excellence at the end of the day in the corporate world. Remember that people like Satya Nadella, who is you know who Satya Nadella is? Everyone knows? You don't know. <laughs> okay. So uh, Satya Nadella is CEO of Microsoft. Okay. So if you see his engineering degrees, he is not from any IIT. He is from this Manipal Institute of Technology, right? And then in the US also, he did not go to Harvard or Princeton or uh, MIT or something. He went to some University of Michigan or something, which is not a top ranked school. Okay. So you can see from this, this is a very good example of a person who is actually, and you see that he is actually at a disadvantage technically because he has gone to a white country. He is a brown person. Okay. So they, you can say that there they will be racism against him, all kinds of things. But despite all that, despite not being from a top ranked school, Okay, not being from IIT or from MIT or Harvard, he has still made it to the top. That is because once you get into the company, what really matters is once you get into the company, how you perform. That is the most important thing. Okay, so many times you'll find people from lesser known institutes are able to actually beat people from IIMs because their on the job performance is much better. Okay, so therefore there are many, many uh, chances to catch up. So don't give up at the very beginning. Okay, so the point I'm trying to make here is that in order to achieve excellence in the corporate world, okay, you will have to most important thing is hard work. Okay, you guys have heard of Thomas Alva Edison? Yes. No, Thomas Alva Edison, this lamp, who, who invented the electric lamp? Thomas Alva Edison, right? So Thomas Alva Edison was one of the most brilliant inventors around. Okay, he used to sleep only three hours a night. And most of the time he used to work. He used to say things like, I use my body only to carry my brain around. Okay, he, he was so conscious of his uh, intellectual prowess. So he said another thing. What did he say about uh, genius? You remember? Anybody remembers? You might be asked these questions in your uh, the cat doesn't have a GK component. But uh, in GK, all these things might come. Uh, what did Thomas Albus Edison say about genius? Anybody remembers? He said genius is something 99%, 1%. You haven't heard this quote? Yeah, something like that. It is It is 99%. He said genius is 99% perspiration and 1% inspiration. Which means the inspiration is talking about the talent. And the perspiration is talking about obviously sweat, which is hard work. So he's saying that even a guy as brilliant as uh, Thomas Alva Edison is saying that uh, genius is really about 99% uh, of it is hard work and only 1% is your talent. Okay, So that's a very important thing to understand. So the point that the equation that is building up from all this is that if you want to achieve excellence in any field, okay, so mehnat karna padega. that is the most important uh, aspect of success, hard work. If you ask any successful person, okay, they will tell you that you have to work incredibly hard. That is why so few people are successful because no, most people don't want to work so hard. Okay. So, but if you want excellence, you will have to do hard work and hard work. You cannot do hard work in an area where you don't have any passion. You understand passion? Passion means you have an interest. Okay. Some of you, maybe somebody is interested in graphic design or web design or something. That fellow, you'll see that he's all day he's just doing web design and he's only reading up on web design. He's obsessed with that subject. Okay. So that's why he's able to put on so much work, put in so much work, right? So passion will come. That means that's why we have this idea. So you have to choose a field which in which you are uh, passionately interested. Okay. Everybody has some kind of interest. So you have to find out what is the field in which you are interested. Okay. Because only in that field can you work hard enough to achieve excellence. Okay. Because in other field, if you are not interested in something, you will not have, it's not humanly possible because we are basically emotional creatures. So if I force you to do something which you don't like, you eventually after one or two years you see many people who drop out of medical they drop out of iits because they don't have a passion it requires a lot of hard work they don't really have a patient they got into iit because the parents wanted them to go into iit this is also another problem we have in our country you know most people are studying the subjects because the parents want them to study that 
parents want them to be a doctor but that fellow has no interest in medicine okay so these things uh, these problems are there so you have it's very important that you find out what you are interested in truly okay everybody has a subject that they are interested in and you you have to find out i'll talk about how you can find out find that out okay but essentially once you once you find that then you are on a good wicket because then you will naturally be able to work hard you will have so much interest in it that you will keep on working okay you guys have heard of elon musk yes you all heard of elon musk right so you know he's he's already a multi billionaire okay but he is working you know how long, how hard he's working even now he works like 16 17 hours days uh, days he's sleeping at the tesla because right now tesla has lot of problems there are a lot of production problems there's a quality problems there's production they are trying to ramp up the production there is some lot of issues in production so uh, he is working he is sleeping on the test in the tesla office he has some one pillow underneath the desk so even though he is a multi billionaire he is sleeping in the tesla factory with a pillow underneath his desk okay so there is no need for him to work to put put in so much effort because he's already got he can retire for life okay so he is doing it because he is passionately interested in it, in the subject in the, in the in that area right and he's also running he's building a boring company for the hyperloop you guys have heard of the hyperloop yeah there is a hyperloop project to travel through a tunnel at very high speeds right so that's why he's he's uh, so he's working on that also then he's running spacex you heard of spacex okay so all these things are happening and he's doing it and he's working so hard so elon musk is a like i use this expression called work ethic you know what a work ethic is work ethic means basically uh, you have that capacity for hard work and you have a willingness to work hard okay that is called a work ethic so this guy is basically the expression we use that elon musk is the poster child for a work ethic okay what is meant by work ethic like one of my students i was lecturing them on work ethic so one of my students asked me so what is work ethic so i then i explained to them the story of elon musk and i said that this guy is a poster child i mean if you want to explain work ethic you talk about somebody like that okay that kind of dedication okay so that's then we have this expression called follow your bliss you see that in when you to discuss all these uh, careers and these kind of options you will come across an expression called follow your bliss i don't know who said this but bliss means essentially whatever makes you happy okay bliss is happiness okay so it is basically follow your bliss means it's the same thing that i've already told you which is that you find a subject which you are interested in and then you follow you you pursue that subject okay no need to pursue what your parents are telling you to do because that is not the right way to do it i'm not saying you should disobey your parents but that's not the right way because we are all different okay so uh, you know just because your father was a doctor doesn't mean that the son has to necessarily be interested in medicine so therefore basically this is the point okay so you have to follow what you are interested in okay and essentially obviously what we are discussing since you are all interested in business okay all interested in business so you will have some kind of area of business that you are interested in okay i'm assuming that and then essentially the other advantage that you have even though you may not even uh, we are assuming in the worst case that you don't get into a top rank cram school the advantages some of the advantages you have why do you have an advantage because even in the top schools okay even in the top schools the mba education that mba education that has been provided okay the curriculum is is quite off the mark in many ways from what the industry wants okay and then so there is a lot of mismatch okay so therefore there are many ways if, and even in the top business schools they are not addressing this mismatch so they are not that's why you will notice that even in the us and many other top uh, other developed countries the employers are complaining that the mbas we are getting are not job ready okay they are not job ready because they don't have the skills that we want okay so there is a still a gap in terms of mba education so even in the top schools there is a gap okay so if you follow a more intelligent approach if you understand what the industry wants and try to develop those skills okay you can still get a leg up in terms of uh, your uh, the way you compete with the students from the top schools are you getting what i'm saying yes, okay all right so let me just give you an example of what is meant by i'm now talking on the second point which is mba education is still deficient okay that is uh, is still sir, deficient means it is not meeting the needs of industry now we come to the website uh, this this is like a website almost actually this is a spreadsheet okay let me just talk about this one okay this is the first link i'm discussing so now okay obviously all these links you will have access to okay so what i will do is i'll just make sure that the access is um i'll make sure that anyone with the link can access okay 
So all you guys who have access the link, you will have viewing rights. Viewing rights means you can click and open all these hyperlinks. Okay, so that is the advantage of. Uh, I can do this. Okay. <laughs> So we have another student, <laughs> long distance, distance learning. <laughs> okay, so if you open this, so if you on this website, you will be able to click, okay, and open this, okay. So we are talking about how, yeah. See, there's this company, there's this, uh, you guys should be aware of this, okay. Uh, there's this uh, news organization called Bloomberg. They also run a business uh, channel, business TV channel. I'll show you the link for that. Okay, uh, Bloomberg is the world's largest employer of journalists. Have you guys heard of this company before? Have you? No, okay. But Bloomberg is also there in India, okay. So you should have heard of business television channels if you listen to CNBC TV 18, all these other channels. Bloomberg is also present in India, okay. And they have a one of these channels, okay, like NDTV Profit, CNBC TV 18. One of, if you keep on scrolling on your subscription, if you do channel surfing, you will come across a Bloomberg TV also. Okay, the same thing so it's the same company so it's run by a company called a guy called michael bloomberg who invest who started this bloomberg software company and he was also mayor of new york city so quite an interesting guy and uh, he's also now they have this bloomberg news organization which is the world's largest employer of journalists okay so that's many reasons to be aware of this company so one of the things they do is this job skills report i don't know why i could not find later versions but even this will give you an idea okay even in 2016 this will give you an idea so what they're trying to find out is what the recruiters want and what are they getting from the mba students okay so what they did is they're talking about the skills gap everyone understands now what this means skills gap means the skills that you get from the mba program uh, and what is the mismatch between what what you have acquired in the mba program and what the recruiters want okay there's a skills gap so they look at all the different industries you can play around with this you can look at different industries okay you can look at say financial services anything i'll just look at all industries to get a, a better picture okay now your projection area is quite small so i'll try to make sure that uh, i think you will get a anyway you can study this on your own what they have tried to do is it's like a quadrant okay so less common yeah now you can see this here Okay, I'll just try to. Here, you know what? This is like a four-way. It's like a quadrant. You understand this setup? Okay. So here they have put the skills which are more common among the MBA students, but which the uh, company uh, is not particularly interested in. Recruiters are not interested in. Opposite side of that is the ones which the companies want the most, but they are less common among MBA, MBA students. Okay. So this is what you have to look at basically: communication skills creative problem solving, leadership skills, critical thinking, all these, this is one example of how we plot, okay, on a, all, in, are you following this net, net framework, yes. it's a four way framework, okay, it's four quadrants here, more common means more common among MBA graduates, okay, and less desired but less desired by the recruiters, okay, you have the skill, maybe you can type, okay, but then recruiters don't care about whether you can type or not. Okay, so then being able to type will be over here like this. So this you have to study this framework. But the interesting part of the framework is here. You can study the here, here and you can go industry by industry and you can see what are the skills that are much less common among MBA graduates, but which the recruiters actually want a lot. Okay, they really want these skills. So this is one way of uh, looking at the skills gap. So to be aware, one of the reasons why even from even if you are not in a top rank business school, you can still catch up is because there are all these problems today even in the top rank business schools these surveys are done from top rank business schools okay by looking at students of top rank business schools so there is still a gap so you can actually try to understand for yourself what industry wants okay and then try to develop those skills so this is one obviously here and you can see one very important thing here communication skills i don't know if you can read at the back very small but you can open it on your own and see it later okay because i've given you the link okay so the point is that there are many skills which industry wants which even the top mba programs are not providing so that is another opening for you if you try to develop those skills you can actually make yourself more attractive to recruiters is this clear are you getting the feeling okay so this is one way of looking at it i'll just i'll just close this okay so that's what you have to do now so if you i mean no matter where you go even if you go to a top school or you don't get to a top rank school 
you have to develop an edge you have to make yourself stand out okay you have to make yourself stand out by doing more you, you have to go one step extra okay it is not sufficient because even if you are in a business top business school uh, you will have to you will see that you have a lot of competition okay like i taught a course once in imt ghaziabad for one semester and i was seeing that imt ghaziabad is quite a high rank school okay that they have pretty good placement but even there i saw that because the batch size is quite big that time the batch size was around 750 or something so there is a lot of competition these guys while they are doing the mba program they are also additionally doing cfa then frm other certifications because they want to uh, you know distinguish themselves from the batch by doing additional courses okay so this is a very competitive world okay it's a very competitive world but people of your age and at any age also you should never be scared of hard work you should see it as a challenge if it is a competitive situation you should see it as a challenge rather than becoming afraid that you know it's so difficult okay you should see it as a challenge and go flat out and try to win that should be the attitude okay so what you have to do now the third point that i'm discussing is now i will show you some ways in which you can do that you have to develop an edge for yourself by uh, training yourself okay in addition to what has been taught in the mba program because as you already aware that even the best mba programs may be missing out on certain things okay so you have to develop those skills on your own okay so i'm sorry i'm not looking at you guys because i'm facing this side to look at this so uh, don't mind okay so uh, okay so how are you going to train yourself i'm going to show you one of those things okay one of those areas okay so far everybody is following okay any any problems please ask okay so one of the things you should do is you should start doing already because remember even when you get into your gdpis okay even when you get into your gdpis people may ask you why do you want to study management okay so you might say that because i am interested in management so then they may ask you or even if they don't ask you they may ask you so what do you mean by you are interested in management what show me some proof show me some proof that you are interested in management anybody can say that i am interested in management okay so then you can show them some of these things which i am going to show you now okay of course i understand it's a very difficult time for you because you are preparing for all these tests so it takes a lot of time but whenever you have time okay because remember you are young you have a lot of energy okay you should just be going flat out to do you should be able to do like you can see how elon musk is running three different companies he is running tesla he is running spacex and he is running this boring company because now they are trying to dig that uh, they are digging that tunnel underneath los angeles to make the hyperloop go there so there is a new company now which is founded called the boring company boring as in boring as in really like this lecture is boring you are not interested right b o r i n g that boring company means also boring means when you bore a tunnel that is also called boring right so that's why it's called a boring company okay so he's running all these three companies together okay so that so you can see that uh, and he's like what is or late 30s or something like or maybe early 40s okay so you can see the level of energy he's working 17 18 hours a day okay and sleeping underneath the office desk okay so this is the kind of hard work he's doing so you guys should also be able to do that okay so there is not much that you cannot do so one of the things i'm going to show you is this okay on this point of developing an edge by training yourself let's go to the next style next slide okay so this is have you guys heard of moocs this first are you i can read you can read this font okay all right okay so then i won't increase the font size it's okay for you you can also see it no okay all right so moocs anybody here is playing computer games you play computer games have you heard of mmorpg mmorpg let me put that let me try to uh, edit this and show you what do i mean actually we this is not part of our mm o r p g let's try and increase the font size a little bit just to be on the i don't know if it will come okay okay view present okay uh, yeah okay guys what is mmorpg computer game or the computer gaming experts what is it yeah so that is very close to the right answer so mmor so we'll first we'll start with the fun part which is the computer games okay so mmorpg means massively multiplayer online role playing games okay so all this model combat and whatever you play the world of warcraft and all 
those are all multiplayer games right and you know actually all playing roles i have never played all these games i don't know much about it so you can correct me if i'm wrong but many of those games are where you are actually ganging up like some people are terrorists some people are commandos they are fighting with each other okay all this kind of stuff so you are playing one particular role so and these are all online games many of them are online games and those are uh, massively multiplayer means multi many many people can play right so this mmrpg is massively multiplayer online role playing games that is what it is so from there we got this new idea so now the fun is over now we come to the hard part we're just studying okay so this is mooks mooks is along those lines okay it is massively online or massively open online courses okay so this this s is actually not correct this s should be small s okay this s should be a small s okay so mooks is what we as you guys have never heard of mooks not heard nobody has heard of mooks okay so you should be aware of it because you are students okay and remember because this is a very very competitive world very competitive world so your learning will never stop okay just like you see i am at the age of 47 i started my llb okay so your learning should never stop okay and you can't afford to have it stop because your your world is very competitive okay and your time is very competitive so you have to keep on learning all the time so this is something you have to be aware of this is a new technology that has come okay so as students okay as students not only do you have to study but you also have to be aware of different methods of studying okay you have to be aware of different methods of studying and this is one and you have to be aware of new technologies which are coming up which are uh, changing the way that people learn okay so like distance learning so this is also a kind of distance learning kind of situation but it's more interesting than that so uh, you should be aware of moocs these are massive massively open online courses okay that's why moocs so let's have a look at some of the moocs and what you can do how remember our previous point was this our previous point was that you should train yourself this is what is there on the top of the slide that you should develop an edge by training yourself okay so how are you going to do that so you have access to this website okay so i'll show you some of the things that you can learn okay like let's look at um, these are all now what has happened is i'll just briefly tell you a little bit about moocs okay so what has happened is many uh, top universities like harvard uh, harvard uh, mit etc they have actually uh, combined to open these online portals what they want to do is they want to make their educational materials available to everybody okay so this open if you open i'll just shut this door conversation ंग some reason is taking a long time let me so open one more course let me just show you this one this is the mit course uh, so there is a site called ocw now you don't have to remember any of the urls because you can just click this link and uh, so mit you guys have all heard of mit okay top engineering school okay so mit what you can do is if you are interested let's say in any of these courses okay school of engineering if you are interested obviously you are interested in business so you can go to the school of management this is also a very well known business school sloan school of management so you can go to the sloan this is see you can open open courseware which means they have opened up all their course materials so you can sit in uh, gorakhpur and do the mit courses from the sloan school of management okay so if you look at their sloan school of management features courses they have featured courses you can look at all the courses okay these are all the courses you can see what the level is whatever let's say if you want to do any kind of um, uh any course let's say you want to do a course on data mining or data models and decisions okay let's say you want to do this course you open this course view course okay now you can see everything is available okay courses syllabus calendar instruction most important is download course materials okay lecture summaries assignments case learnings okay you can download all the course materials and you can get access to all the all the lecture the slides all the homework assignments and everything okay so most of the material then they may refer some textbook or something okay 
and then you can decide whether you want to buy the textbook or maybe you'll find some material online okay so this kind of thing so the point is are you getting the flavor of what i'm saying yes. what i'm showing you so these things you guys were not aware of these websites right okay so that's good so that so you can just surf on your own and see those of you who are interested in computer programming you can learn you can go to the engineering school and look at some computer they have a very good course uh, they teach i think they teach python okay they teach there's a mit course on on python so you can learn that do that course as well so it is basically like being in that classroom okay you will effectively get all the course materials okay so similarly here if you see there is another this i can close we don't need the second version okay let me show you this edX somehow there is some problem okay i think the you i'll change the url because uh, the url i need to change this the, i had given the wrong that url i think has become old so i'll just update this url you know how to do this if you want to make this a hyperlink you know how to do this on in google sheets okay so you highlight this you understand what i'm trying to do because my link is old actually i need to update the link so this text is there i want to paste a new link so i hide i put the cursor in this thing in google sheet then i do control k then in the link i enter the link new link i want to enter okay you can see all this and then i do apply and now it should open now i'll just close this and then i'll just test this link once again edx this is the harvard mit collaboration now it will open see because basically my link was wrong okay so this is there you can do lots of stuff on this you can explore these websites so mainly i'll tell you what is the structure of most of these uh, so all of these things which you see under online course portals okay these are all the same as what i showed you on ocw for mit okay these are all courses that are available okay i'll show you something on edx also a little bit you can see there's a there's a grouping of subjects okay you want to learn whatever if you want to learn computer science okay or you want to do business and management let's take some business and management courses although now data science is also considered part of business and management okay because many of the business schools are teaching it okay so you can see there's a course from imb also okay uh, then if you want to do let's look at this okay so this introduction to corporate finance i'll just take this example if you want to learn this course he basically here what is happening is uh, there is a now most of these courses are in such a way i'll just explain the structure of these courses there are i mean you can do this course at two levels if you want a verified certificate from columbia university saying that you have completed this course if you want a verified certificate then you will have to pay some money some 25 dollars to 50 dollars something they're charging okay but it is not necessary for you to get that certificate okay i think what is more important the knowledge is more important so if you just want to what is called we call this we call this auditing the course auditing the course means if you audit the course that means you are sitting through the course but you are not officially recognized as a student and you don't get a certificate okay but you are still sitting through the course that means that you can get the knowledge you can get the same knowledge as anyone who gets a certificate okay except that you don't have a official certificate because you don't want to pay for it i don't think it's necessary to waste so much money on it okay if you want to pay you can do it but i don't think it's necessary to pay it's more important to have the knowledge it's more important to do the courses you can see here it has given you the length it is four weeks okay it is telling you three to four hours per week you have to spend three to four hours per week it is four weeks okay the price is free and then you can add a verified certificate they are charging a lot nowadays for verified 150 dollars that's too much i think but anyway so free it is free because you can with, without paying any money you can have access to all the course materials the only thing is you will not get a certificate it doesn't matter because what you are going to do now another trick i'm going to tell, teach you is now when you go for and you as you start preparing your cv okay even in i don't know whether i i am in the business school they gdpi do they ask for your cv they ask for your cv right maybe they'll ask for your cv so put this on your cv put this on your cv that i have done these courses so if you are able to do several courses six seven courses then put them on your cv and then you just say you have audited the course audited as in basically audited as written as um if you write it like this audited will be written as um, how we put it here if you see okay if i just write it audited means you write this this is what you write okay i have audited the course okay so you say i have audited these courses you finish as many of these courses as you can put it on your cv and you say 
for I have audited the course, which means you don't people will understand that you don't have the certificate. But if you have, you should have done it properly, so that people ask you questions, you should be able to answer because you have the knowledge. Okay, and that is sufficient to impress people. So that means remember I said earlier that people will ask you, okay, I'm in the GDPR. They may ask you, uh, oh, you're interested in management. What uh, I mean, how do I know you're, you're actually? Maybe you're just saying it because you came for an MBA interview. Show me some proof that you're interested in management. So if you have done some of these courses before going for your GDPI, then you can actually put it on your CV and if you're, you must have the confidence because you must have done it properly. So the knowledge should be there. Okay. Then you can confidently say that, look, I have done so many of these courses. That is the proof that I am interested in management. I am exploring. I have already started exploring. Is this clear? Are you following what has to be done? Are you, what, what the strategy is? Okay. So. All right, so this is uh, now here you can see you can just read up on this you need to register obviously and the registration is free okay you can register on this website and the same goes for all the other websites okay and i have put the important sites in the cyan background so your these are the important websites okay, khan academy is also very good even very good for revising your math concepts because in your you guys are well aware of khan academy right okay good so that's good because their maths teaching is very good maths and stats teaching is very good other subjects not so good but maths and stats is very good so um, okay another one which i've done here you can actually get the this is yale university yale university they have these courses they have the full video also you can actually see the full video okay all these courses very interesting courses okay they have highlighted this um, open yale courses all these you can explore this and see i don't know why this has come to uh, this particular course okay they are actually just you can just explore you can explore this and when you go to the course you'll see that um, you can all these ex courses you can see okay there must be some uh, some from business also yeah economics you can re read this course on financial markets okay if you go to the course you'll see actually that the entire class video is available okay if you look at all this you'll see that down below you can see that course video is also available if you just explore a little bit uh, sessions under sessions if you go you will see that the video is also available here yeah. the entire class video is available so you can actually listen to the whole course so you can sit in sit in Gorakhpur and do all these uh, top courses on the top universities okay so as many of them so your strategy immediate short term strategy should be that for your as you get ready for your GDPIs to make your CV stronger you should start exploring obviously don't neglect your CAT preparation that is also important but you have to do uh, you know more than that because everybody is preparing for CAT you have to find out some way to uh, stand out from the crowd how to distinguish yourself from the crowd okay so this all you do you can explore I'm sure I don't need to show you much you guys are good at exploring and finding out okay there's another one which is good if you're interested in economics and all marginal revolution university is also quite good if you're interested in computer programming that's also a good skill to develop okay everyone should try and learn python okay python is quite an easy language to learn and it is a general purpose programming language so it has a lot of you guys have heard of this word python yes, okay so it is quite it is a lot of applications now okay so i think it's a useful thing in, as a business student for a business student okay to have this uh, ability to you know at least have some comfort level in the sense that you know when most of us have played we cannot play cricket at a very high level but most of us have played cricket so when we have a sense of we have a sense of what is required unlike say if you ask me about uh, american football i don't know what is going on when i see a game i can't figure out what is going on okay so the point is that at least do one or two courses on python get a feel for what is involved okay because these days without yeah only 10 to 15 minutes okay fine no problem okay so uh, are you guys uh, uh, is this uh, useful for you yes. okay good so we'll just continue with this because i had another second part also we were supposed to talk to you about business school pedagogy and all but i think uh, i'll just spend a little bit more time on this so that you are able to uh, this is important for your upgradation so code academy is one of the schools where you can learn about coding so the other message that i would give you okay is in addition to that spoken english part then on, always ask questions when you don't understand and the third one is that as in general all business students you should try to ensure that you don't have a phobia you know what a phobia is a phobia means darte hai basically okay like many people math say darte hai or programming also you should not develop don't don't ever don't ever uh, cut off your own legs by developing fears there is no need to be afraid of anything okay you should be able to do anything 
so if it doesn't work on the first try try second third fourth times okay so uh, you remember again edison how many times did he fail to elect uh, invent the electric bulb uh, almost something like we say 1000 or 1300 so edison failed 1300 times okay before he finally found the solution okay so therefore you should not give up okay so keep on trying you should have the attitude to do anything so it's very important because in the modern world that you are going into technology is changing everything so those business students who are very comfortable with coding okay and at least they have a very good sense of what is possible with programming what is possible with coding you should develop that sense because that will give you another advantage that will again distinguish you from the rest of the crowd okay so you should also keep that in mind that's why i've added the coding side so this is okay there are some online textbooks you can just explore on your own okay i was going to uh, let's see what else we have here um okay so in terms of your skills what you have to develop this will take you can you have more time to do this okay that uh, what you have to do is obviously you guys are reading news okay you are reading your local business news economic times and all that that you are following okay also try to develop this may not be told to you in india also try to develop global perspective because remember it's a globalizing world the economy is getting globalized okay the global economy is, uh, is getting more and more integrated so it is very important to study because like uh, when i teach i teach especially when i teach finance okay i teach finance from a global perspective i'll give you some feel of that because if you learn only from an indian perspective you will not learn many things because our markets are not well developed we are still quite backward because we have not followed free market policies okay so i teach mainly on based on us markets because that's the most developed market in the world so if you study that you will cover all the concepts and then you can apply that to india also okay so it's very important so when you follow news news and context i'll give you one more clue also listen to this try to follow these international websites in reuters bloomberg quint is india focused bloomberg I, you can see all these links you can you are seeing all these links okay so remember this name bloomberg is quite useful okay there are some charting applications i have given you this is just for you to explore okay if you want to explore since we are running out of time i'm trying to quickly wrap up, wrap up the presentation you guys have another class now after this okay okay anyway so we'll just try to wrap up quickly so i've given you some charting resources you can explore on your own okay but what i will show you is one more thing in terms of uh, i'll just add this so for your global markets news also try to follow this um, if you go to youtube okay i'll just show you this uh, trick okay go to go to youtube and look for bloomberg okay uh, you can just look for bloomberg live okay just look for bloomberg live you already know the name okay so there is something that you can follow here if you see uh, you can go to their main channel also if you see this is the main channel if you go to their main channel the home page of bloomberg on youtube that's also quite useful they have a lot of interesting programs but mainly this is global news which is today is a sunday of course markets are not open but they still have a lot of interviews going on you can learn a lot okay so you can see what is alphabet which companies uh, what what is the other com what is the other? alphabet is what have you have you guys hmm? yeah larry page so alphabet is google now it's a new holding company okay alphabet is the holding company okay so now what is happening is they are talking about the tesla there is some uh, there is a lot of upheaval in tesla because they are changing the board and elon musk is leaving as chairman so you can see the point i'm trying to make is this this channel this channel is available for free okay uh, this channel is available for free you can go here and subscribe to this bloomberg channel also i would recommend that okay and this is a global business news channel so you should not follow the local business like cnbc tv 18 and you know et now all these channels you are aware of don't use them to follow global markets okay for global markets use this channel go to youtube bloomberg is broadcasting 24/7 it is totally free okay and i would say that don't worry because even if you don't understand 1% of what is being said still try to follow on a regular basis keep up the discipline every day listen to it maybe half an hour 40 minutes whatever time you can get in the evening especially when new york london are open try to have this global perspective that will also help you okay because that is the right way to look at things not just from an indian perspective you should look at everything first as a global perspective and then when you have to apply it in india then you can apply the india context that is the right way to approach it okay so just use this listen to it every day and don't worry if you can't understand much if today you will not understand you today you will understand only 1% after 6 months you will understand 15% then after one year you will understand 35% that's how it grows but if you just give up in the beginning because you are not able to follow much 
then then is, everything is lost okay so you have to keep on pushing okay because remember that see nobody is stupid your brain eventually the idea is the point i'm trying to drive home here to you is that you have to bombard your brain with information okay the brain has infinite capacity you have to bombard your brain with information you, if you just sit there and if you work hard and bombard you eventually your brain will start after three months six months your brain will start to make see patterns and in your own way you will develop your own way of looking at the world okay that is also another very important thing that you must develop your own perspective initially you will read what other people are saying maybe you will uh, take their views because you're not clear about your own view but you have to remember also that at the end you have to develop your own view that's why what you have to do is you have to bombard your brain with information this is one way of doing it you listen to this 24 hours if necessary okay or you take information from everywhere and eventually your brain starts to make sense of it and it does so in your own unique way okay your way of looking at the world will be different from my way of looking at the world and that is the way it should be so you should trust your own judgment that your judgment is also because everybody will you're not going to be making silly judgments you will have your own reasoning so that you should be comfortable with that okay okay so this is another message so you know what to do on this so what i'll do is i'll just uh, instead of bookmarking the instead of bookmarking the live link uh, i will bookmark the youtube home page you will have to go down and find the live link you'll see that there is that red link you remember you saw that here see that red link oh, you can't see the red link this is a red link there there's a live now link at the bottom okay you can't see it so i will bookmark this bloomberg homepage on youtube okay i'll put it here okay i'll put it here so that you can then just click this okay and that will hopefully take you to the bloomberg homepage because that that homepage url will not change youtube homepage url will not change okay so are you getting a fair see i'll get just give you a feel of what is required in mba in mba education okay so now see broadly now when you're trying to develop these skills the other thing that remember i told you that you have to find something that you're interested in you need to follow your bliss okay you have to find out what you're interested in okay so these are the broad areas that you have in a, in a business school curriculum you have this marketing operations finance okay all these five minutes okay okay <laughs> it's like a time bomb is going to go off so we have to be a little careful okay all right so i'll just give you a feel for finance okay since i teach finance i'll give you a feel for finance okay so you should the way you do it see i remember i told you that you have to find your own you have to find your own area of interest okay so how will you do that the way you do that is very simple you just keep experimenting so you go to the shop you eat the rasgullas maybe you don't like the rasgullas then you try the samosas then maybe you don't like the samosas also then you try the jalebis and then you find okay this jalebi this stuff i like okay so this is the same way there's no rocket science okay you just take one subject so there are all these subjects so you got all these courses edx you got all these course portals okay you start doing these courses take one from marketing one from finance and see if something if this appeals to you or not okay after some you maybe experiment marketing for a while after three four months you don't like it then you go to finance experiment like this and eventually through trial and error you'll find it it may take you one year two year whatever it might take okay but eventually you'll find it if you keep on experimenting okay so the point is you should not give up experimenting you should have this in the back of my mind uh, back of your mind that you have to do this you have to find your own area of interest that must be there on the back of your mind like somebody holding a gun to your head you should put pressure on yourself that i have to find this okay that you and so you have to keep on searching until you have found it okay so i will just give you some brief idea about the way that uh, finance we should be teaching okay i don't think we have much time okay so i'll just show you some of the videos because in one of my in my classes what i'm doing i have given you by the way guys i have given you you can see these videos i have given you the links to these videos on my youtube page so what i do is when i teach uh, classes i using as i use a screen recording software and i record my video of my classes so you can see something like this because today is not a working day today is not a working day so you can see here so this is some of the software you can see that so this is a, I'm teaching them about trading software. So this will actually run on a market day. So Saturday, Sunday markets are closed. So we use some of the software. So this lecture, as you can see, all these I've given three, four lectures which you can see on your own. Okay, those are public videos. So you can see those. You can learn those topics also. And that is another way for you to find out. If you just look into those three videos, you can get a feel of whether finance is something that will appeal to you or not. That is very, very, very easy way to shortcut way to do it. So these classes are about one hour, one hour, one hour long. 
So you can see all these prices are changing. Can you see that? This is actually a order book. This is the Euro dollar foreign exchange, spot foreign exchange market. This is the order book where the order book for the Euro, all the buy and sell orders are all cushed, stacked together. Okay, and then uh, this, these prices are changing. So this is the kind of software that we use to teach finance. Okay, how to use finance. So if you look at these three videos, you will get a good feel for whether you like finance or not. This is something that it will give you a preliminary feel. Okay. Some of the other types of software, I'll show you what we use. This is also the same software. Here also, but you can't see much. Okay. See, you can't see much because of the coloring. Okay. Here, here. This is maybe. You can see this. You can see this is another type of software that we use. Okay. Here also you can see all the prices are changing. Okay, so these are all prices because in, in when we teach finance, we have in three of the electives which I teach there we have these projects. So they have to use this kind of software to do the uh, projects. Okay, this is live prices. These are not simulations. These are actually live prices. Everything is live. Live prices, live news. Okay, live charts, and nobody knows what is going to happen. Unlike a simulation where the programmer knows what the scenarios are. Okay, so then you have to try to manage risk. You have to try and make money using these kind of software. So if you listen to these three videos, I've given you like, I think I've given you. Yeah, I've given you three videos. If you listen to this as a starting point, you'll get a good feel of what is involved in finance. Okay. Uh, okay. So, so this is actually. So this is just something you can listen to it. I don't need to play it here because you have access to it. Okay. Okay, so that we are completely uh, sure we have a backup. Okay. Because I don't know whether the TSC, I, I have to see. Okay. So I think we are almost done. I mean, whenever they come, I mean, uh, so you guys have any other questions? I hope everybody followed. Yeah. Okay. So please remember all the things I mentioned. Okay. And uh, I will try to uh, see here what we have. So most of the stuff we have here, everything is. So all the things we have discussed, uh, you can get access to all this here. Okay. All the material you have access to here. And uh, if there is anything I need to add, I will just add it to this web. I will add it to the spreadsheet itself. Okay. All right. Okay. So we are done then. Okay. You can carry on whatever. I mean, they have still not come, but we can keep on discussing. But uh, so anyway, you guys have no questions. Any questions? I was supposed to talk a little bit about the business school curriculum, but I did not get time to talk about it. But basically, this I mean, essentially, what you have is these kind of areas. Okay. If I'm holding you up, if your time is up, you can just carry on. I mean, those who are want to further stay, that they can. I think he's. I mean, whatever. So these are the broad areas that you will have. Okay. And uh, because I was supposed to talk a little bit about the business school curriculum, what are the courses you will have? But I think one way you can easily understand it is just look at those under business and management. Look at those edX, edX Coursera, okay, MIT. That's OCW website. Then MIT Courseware, Open Courseware. If you look at that, from there you will get a very good sense of what is there in a business school, right? Are you following? Yes, if you explore there, you will get a good sense of what is involved. Okay. All right. So we are done. Okay. Any questions? Okay. Then we can carry on. Okay. Okay. You guys can carry on. Then I'll just shut down. Okay.